she makes me very proud, you know, because she was, uh, she's a very real person. She's really authentic. She's, she's dedicated. She took it really seriously. It was not a gig for her. It wasn't, okay, I'm doing this movie and then, you know, I've got something else down the road. I mean, she cut off her hair. You know, I mean, she immersed herself not only in the music, but in the story, because I chewed her ear off about it. I know she was reading articles about it. I sent her um, tape. I had some, about 20 minutes of me talking as a, maybe a 14-year-old that I sent her. <laughs> So she could hear, because I had a certain about the um, Maryland, Pennsylvania, East Coast draw at the time. Kind of like that Chris Matthews, Philly thing. They eat every time, once in a while. I can't think of words. It almost sounds Southern. I almost sound it Southern, literally Southern, you know, like, wow. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird combination of things. I wish I'd love to have that. But anyway, she, but she, she was really dedicated. and, and um, I thought she did a great job. You know, she watched me intently. I was there every day on the set, pretty much. What do you much. think she captured? What, what essence of you do you think she captured? Well, you know, it's hard for me to look at myself and judge what I look like from the outside. But I mean, I thought she had sort of a quiet intensity. Um, but also, a lot of the physical stuff, the, the, my mannerisms, are, are just in real life, we're a lot alike. You know, if you were to see the two of us sitting around, I mean, just the way we move in space is pretty much a lot alike. You know, we get, you know, we shake our legs, put our hands in our. It's just really similar, and it was funny being with her to do that and 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 watch that happen at the same time. But she'd also just watch my, you know, my posture. Everything, just my facial expressions, the way I stood, I have some funny stances that I do that she copy. You know, it's just, um, so she tried to, to get it all. I think I realized early on that this was not, I don't, I'm not quite sure what the pronunciation is. Is it a biopic or biopic? Biopic. But it, it, it wasn't that. Right. This is not what that is. This is, you know, basically a parallel storyline that uses a lot of the runaways factual stuff, but you know, yeah, there are embellishments, there's timeline shifts, there's, you know, all, all that sort of stuff. It and seemed so almost like a cautionary tale in some ways, what happens when kids have their dreams, I mean, you know, she's 15, you're 16, and they don't really know how to voice them themselves. I mean, that, to me, I found the movie really grim in a lot of ways, and not a lot of joy. Uh, did you want that to come across, like how tough it was for you guys out there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should, because it wasn't easy, and people think, you know, oh, yeah, I want to be a rock star, it's easy, I'll just, you know, get in a band, cut my hair, and do this, and, you know, um, it, it's, it's hard work, and see, you know, that, a lot of that is some of the backstory to what was so tough in the runaways, it was a lot of work, we were on the road a lot, we went, you know, on the road, making an album, on the road, making an album, you know, and that's tough, we're teenagers, you know, we were all together all the time. We were different people. You know, everybody was literally had different tastes mm -hmm. in, in everything. And I, so I thought, in a way, we were sort of covered a, a lot of who girls were, because we were all different. It wasn't like you were exact, uh, you know, cookie cutter copies of each other. Um, so, yeah, I mean, things, it should come across as tough. Grim, I mean, sometimes life is grim, you know, and it's, I think you can't lie, but I think also there is a message of the underdog can win. Um, dreams should be try sought. You shouldn't, you shouldn't not go for your dreams because you're told not to, because it's not what a girl's supposed to do.